Hi guys, welcome back to Coffee with Kira. <laughs> and I am so, 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 so excited today because number one, you guys love him. I have my dad back. He's co-hosting. Hey. He's back in the business. Well, I had to meet the duo. <laughs> we're the father. Yeah, we're, we're the father-daughter duo. duo. And, and today we have, we have Danny and Theory, hey. who are the cutest ever on TikTok. <laughs> That's where we found each other. Yes. Mm -hmm. They're mother and daughter and also a part of the community as well. Yes, we are. So I just was so excited to have them on today. You guys are in town for a couple days and yep. I was like, please. Please, please come on. So and I'm like, hell you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's funny. My niece, Alex, she was the one. You, I think you guys commented on something that we did, and Alex was like, oh She's my like, god. She's like, I love them so She's much. She's like, oh my god. When I looked, then when she told me about you guys, I looked you guys up, and I oh fell god. in love. I was like, I just. I just <laughs> You know, because you don't see this, and then to be in a community too, yeah. and you guys to be so like just in the front of like bringing people and saying, "Look, we are mom and daughter. We we are part of the community. There's no weirdness here. No, it's just who we are. Yeah, yes. you know. So I fell in love with you guys. Oh, well, I fell in love with your guys. <laughs> I was like, I was like, oh, Mary, oh my stalking. God, I was like, mother, oh, it's a daughter, mother, daughter. It's like it's like a whole little family already. Yeah, yeah no, like, we are we are that we're. Aww. This is the family. This yes. is what community is for. Like, we find people that are in our community and yeah. we understand each other and we don't have to put a front on. Yeah. Like there's a lot of times when we're out to dinner with mutual friends and they're just like so the you could feel the undertone of the mm -hmm. conversation where you're like, Are you judging me? Right, yeah. right, right, right. Mm -hmm. So I love when I find Genuine. family. Similar you know. people, yeah, yeah, for sure. I feel like I also always love to ask, how are you guys feeling like in this moment? I'll ask you first. Mentally, wellness check, you know, just checking in. How do you how do you feel? Um, so right now I'm a little homesick to be honest but um, monthly I feel good. good I love the direction that my life is going mm -hmm. I love the relationships that I have with my daughter my yeah. wife and the friends that I have around me I have a really Beautiful. good support system That's and um, it's taken me a long time to get there mm -hmm. and understand everybody's love and nourishment looks different mm -hmm. so now I understand what their love for me looks like so mm -hmm. I know how to appreciate it a little bit more I Does that make that. sense? Yes, 100%. Okay. <laughs> I'm like, um... That's <laughs> what <laughs> so, she said. Anyways. <laughs> but, um, How you feeling, girl? <laughs> okay. So, honestly, I just got off the biggest funk of my life. Mm. I, like, I was talking to you prior, like, I'm a big space person. I feel mm -hmm. like I wasn't getting that with anything and anyone, not even with myself. I feel like I was even suffocating myself, like, mm. making myself do so many things, like, at the same time. I balanced it. I got myself in a routine. And now I feel like I have more control over myself and my life and everything so i'm really feeling good i'm really grateful and i'm happy you know she helped me through all of it i mean she was like theory like hello i know you need space but like girl <laughs> i miss no, you i get There's that because no i am queen of, in our family for sure like even in his relationship with my mom like wants to be up under her all the time That's me. with I'm everyone in my life i've always been similar like i recharge on my own i need mm -hmm. my space i and i never want anyone to ever take it personally yeah. you know but it's so important to have a schedule to like check in with yourself and be like yes. okay i need to switch this up because mm -hmm. right now it's all a little hectic and see like i'm opposite i'm a pack animal yeah. I, want <laughs> yeah. I want my son, I want my daughters, I want my, like, I'm just, and I don't apologize for it. I try to give them space because I know they need space. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But with me, I want them, like, you know, what's that, what's like, Kurt, uh, Riley always teased me as like a caveman and they have the sleeping pile. Yeah. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's how it would be. That's how it would be. The grooves or the grooves. Yeah, crude, the yeah, yeah. So, he always teases me about that because that, that would be me. I'd be like, come on. <laughs> 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 Let's get together. Let's so get together. in your relationship a little bit, like, you need a little bit more space. But you guys are very close. Which yeah. Yes. I love watching because once again Insanely like close. yeah me and my dad I mean my whole family were very very close yeah. we have a very special bond but watching that. you guys online I was like they are so supportive yeah. with each other oh, yeah. mm -hmm. you kind of as well since you're getting older and I remember this happening where you get to a certain age it's where hard. they're still your parent yeah. but it's also friendship as well yes. it turns yeah. into and I see that you guys have that as I well that. Mm -hmm. so have you always been this close or have you gone through times in your life where you weren't this close yeah, we tell me too. about <laughs> it they, they know about us I'm like I want to hear about y'all yeah. <laughs> um, I mean, I feel like for the most part, we grew up very close. I mean, we only had each other. I mean, yeah. we raised each other. She's been my best friend for life. There's always times where we're, we're struggling. I mean, we're both human. We're both learning. It's our first go around. She's my first time being a parent, first time being a daughter. It's hard very very hard we actually had like our biggest like blowout of discomfort in our relationship last year mm. like, wow. around this Recent. time around this time december 8th year. oh she <laughs> knows the date <laughs> she yeah said, I because know. it was awful but you know yeah. and it took i feel like 
I mean, it took like a couple months for us to really get back on track. Yeah. And we had to talk like, listen, you're my mom, I'm your daughter, we're close, we're best friends. I know this was a bad, bad blowout and it's not normal for us, but we got each other. We're gonna have to work this out one way or another. Yeah. Like, we wanna put boxing gloves on? Yeah. Like, <laughs> like, girl. No. So, like, no. I love that. Please. I love that. Like, I love that. <laughs> she's gonna beat me up. <laughs> I mean, I felt like that two more times with you. I know, I know, but I love that. But she's what you ended with was like, I'm upset right now, but we're gonna work this out. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's the way I try to be with like my kids and my wife and like all of us. And I try to talk to them, especially when they're hitting heads. I'm like, you can hit heads. That's normal. You know why? Because you're well, so it's close. healthy, actually. It's it healthy. Is like, very, and you, very healthy. you know the buttons yeah. to push. You know mm-hmm. which switch goes on and off. And yeah. but it's family. You have to work through it. Mm-hmm. You know, and, and I think, and why? Because the rare few of us who have this need to fight like hell to hold on to it. Mm-hmm. You know, easy. and people mm-hmm. think they watch, you know, they say they watch it sometimes. They think, oh, it's so easy. It's just, they're just close like that. I'm like, oh, no. <laughs> we have family meetings. We yeah, had ball every other. Yes, we do too. Yes, we do. I, I just texted. I was like, before we come home, I need a family, family meeting. meeting. Like, yes. we, like <laughs> table, dinner table. Do you know yet. how many people when I say that look at me like, what are you talking about? <laughs> and it also, it makes me sad though when that happens because I know growing Listen. up, knowing that I had a parent, parents in general that just wanted to make sure that we always stayed on the same page and had family meetings yeah. and mm-hmm. made sure we sat down around the table together and had conversations. Yeah, and yeah. Because and well, you, I'm getting the goosebumps. What do you say? What do you say every time you say goodbye, no matter how many times? I love you. Exactly. I, I every time. Yeah, every time. Yeah, because, because she goes because, to bed. Yeah. I love you. You, you never, never know. know. Never know. But it's just it's such a beautiful thing, and it's so important to have family. Yeah. And to if you don't have like a family that you maybe were brought into, a chosen family or yeah. friends that you just know, okay, I can come to this person mm-hmm. through mm-hmm. good and bad times, mm-hmm. even when I'm feeling terrible, and I know that they're gonna be there. Yeah. Right? And like that's. So but it's still, I, I still feel I love that, but I still feel at my age, you know, 56, that Stop it's nothing like nice. family. <laughs> no, it's just, uh, you know, it's just like, he no, likes saying it because I he like it. Like, has people go, look, no, you don't look like that. But it's like, not Shut only up. that. I take pride in where I am in my life and who I'm becoming mm-hmm. and trying to become more and more me. So sometimes people do think I'm younger and I'm quick to say, oh, no, 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 no. no. I'm past the You're century proud. now. I'm You're proud of it, you know. Mm-hmm. But I have a question for you. Someone just recently said something to me where someone asked one of my kids, when did your dad come out to you? Now, my kids, they always grew up knowing I was bisexual because I just was never, I never hit it. It was never. So my daughter said back to the person, well, when did your dad say that he was straight? Because it was such a part of her life, it wasn't something like I set her down. How did that with you guys? How did that happen? So honestly, Tina, she was you guys work together that's, yeah like, that's your mom's wife yes, yes. Okay. that's my mom's wife tina's my mom's wife i used to go there when my mom was working i was just sitting there tina started babysitting me and she became one of my like someone that took care of me like mm-hmm. i love her i see her as my best friend that's oh. that's my girl that's great and then um she really you really didn't like sit me down you Mm-mm. just so i think theory start realizing that tina and i was spending a lot more time not surrounding theory Mm. like she was coming over and she didn't need to be babysat also a backstory my wife and my sister are best friends like they've been best friends for a few years before her and i i wanted to say that but i didn't want to be like shady i didn't know like why would it be shady kid yeah. I mean, it's not shady she because like, she's my just best so friend just so you know they were like she was most of her sister's best friend like I yeah. <laughs> yeah, no same. because you know what my first love my first girlfriend was my sister's best friend mm-hmm. it's, it's, I mean it didn't end well so my sister was like you're never dating my friend's friend <laughs> but yeah. this went this. well so we're this good did. I, I thought we were being sneaky like I was I thought we were like being sneaky, like kissing and she was snuggling me and I'm like oh. Theory comes into the room and she was like, look, if you guys want to date, like... <laughs> I love that. Just date. Wait, like, oh you don't have to, like, hide it from me. I was like, okay. I love that. And then we were together ever since. Wow. I so how that. long have we been together? Ten years. Wow. wow. Yeah. That's nice. You know what's crazy? We were stalking my, my Facebook um, when I was a child and... It was a post. Mm-hmm. And it was like, I love my parents no matter what. And I put the rainbow hearts. And I'm like, that's just in, like I just you were just yeah. yeah. It was probably from, like, yeah, yeah, you knew. Yeah. You she probably like, just they're so humans. So yeah. they're, they yeah. love each other. That's what it is. That's mm-hmm. all it is. And it's I, just people being humans. Love is love. Yeah, that's just, what I always yeah. say. And I hope more and more that it comes to a place of 
it's not different. It's not, oh, really? Mm -hmm. I hate when people ask me, you know, or I'm dating a woman and they're like, oh, that's so this and cool or whatever. Mm -hmm. Or, you know, you just tell someone your sexuality and they have a big freak out. Yeah. I always say, like, the worst thing to do when someone's coming out to you and they're trusting you with that. And maybe you're the first person or just in general, someone that they're trusting and people just go like and freak out like crazy. Mm -hmm. It shouldn't be that. It It should just be like. Nothing is different about you. I still love you. Like, nothing Mm -hmm. has changed, you know? So, has anybody just blamed you for her being bisexual? Because we do. Yeah, no, I never... That hasn't happened to me yet. You know, Mm -hmm. I get more... Because being in a 35-year relationship with a woman, you know, people are like, well, how can you consider yourself bisexual? And I'm like, that doesn't change who I was attracted to before. That just means I made a decision to be monogamous. Mm -hmm. You know? So, I haven't gotten um, that about... I don't know. I think maybe it's, like, a gender thing as well. Like, if my son... brother was yeah, yeah. um mm. but so how do you deal with that um <laughs> we fight them <laughs> I, got, I, got, I literally got a comment today I was like just shut up I, just, I, I do and that's I, the hardest thing is like yeah, how you do you react to, you I mean can't. most of the time I'm high road but it's hard sometimes you just want to put those sometimes. gloves on and, I, and go at so people I am more of the kind of responder I'm like look I love everybody's love language is a different color yeah. like and I don't expect you to understand that like, yeah. you mm-hmm. can't sit here and tell me that what I'm doing is wrong just because you don't understand it mm-hmm. and I can never expect you to understand it because you wasn't born this right, way right I was. Right. My daughter is her own individual right. person. Like, she's never been forced to be something that she wasn't. Mm-hmm. I've never tried to encourage her to be anything mm-hmm. anything different. Her loving the way that I love, it's normal. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I think that it's, it's normal. Like, all she wants to do is love. Yeah. Yeah, People no, want to put it into, oh, because they're seeing that, that that's yeah. then what they want, or it was raised, like, that how they were raised. But mm-hmm. I always say they're gay parents that have straight, straight. children. Like, uh, there are straight, yeah. straight parents parent that have gay, gay children. Right, exactly. Like, so what they, do you say on the other side? Yeah. That would be my no, question. I think like, that's just people being <clears throat> small-minded and having yeah. a certain yeah. way of how they view things. And that also brings me to social media. Like, mm-hmm. it's definitely... I think so important for people to show that visibility because yeah. always mm-hmm. like growing up you know sometimes people all the time that's the biggest thing on my page they'll be like why are you saying that yeah. you're bisexual that your dad's bisexual why do you keep all saying these, that <laughs> all these different things for me and it's a personal preference I love saying it because growing up I didn't see many people that I felt like I could relate to or mm-hmm. you've probably had zero people zero. that you felt like you could zero. relate to you know so for me I love that people can go to my page and see like oh he's like me oh she's like yeah. me oh this father daughter yeah. relationship is, is healthy healthy and, and all these different things. So what made you guys get on social media? Did you know that you know, it was going to blow up and that people were going to going to be so interested in your relationship no. as mother daughter? I literally was tired of Tina and Theory playing on their phones because normally we were not that family. We would sit down every watch night, movies. watch a movie, have dinner <laughs> together, socialize, talk about her next football game or whatever, like just talk and when COVID happened they just start like ignoring me mm-hmm. and as you know I want to be loved <laughs> so they were ignoring me talking on their phone they yeah. just like scrolling and laughing and I was like what is so funny like pay attention to me have a right. conversation right. this is Hi. not fair this is ugly <laughs> like, this is not y'all cool. are acting ugly <laughs> <laughs> yeah y'all acting mad ugly so she was like Look, it's TikTok. It's really funny. You would really love it. I think that you'll be entertained with everything that's going on. So I'm looking. I'm like, this is not funny. So I was like, this is not funny. Until that algorithm hits you. And it's like, this is what you like? Wait, okay. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah. And then I'm just like, I could do this. So I started making funny content. And I wore a shirt that says rock, paper, scissors. Mm -hmm. And this girl was like, oh, my God, please tell me that you're a lesbian. And I was like, no, I'm bisexual. And she was like, oh, my God, I love you. So then I was like, hold on. Like, is this okay? Can I post this? This kind of stuff. I live in a very conservative town, so being no, a, 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 a <laughs> not that acceptable. Yeah. <laughs> and so I start posting, you know, my wife and my daughter, and then we start reenacting prior conversations, like how we would interact yeah. with one another, how what kind of conversation she would bring up at dinner, and that start blowing up. I'm mm-hmm. like, this is kind of cool. And then we got into this platform where people look to us for advice and comfort and a community and things no, like that. Hear their traumas. Yeah, yeah. It's like because I think that letting other people know that you're not alone yeah. mm-hmm. is very important. Yeah. So important. No, I feel like I love your guys' page because it's so educational to whatever someone's going through, whether they're in a toxic relationship or an abusive relationship or going through it with their parent mm-hmm. or their child. And every scenario, they like play out these different. <laughs> how, what do you? What would you call it? Like skits? It's not skits. Skits. Yeah, skits. skits. I always think it's comedy, yeah. but yeah, yeah. yeah it's, but sometimes it's like, there is comedy to it. 
Yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 But it's just, it's so beautiful because once again with social media, for someone that's maybe going through something and doesn't have a parent or a child or just a friend or anyone to like have that support or rely on, or they don't even know that they're in something that's not good for them, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. you know, that. seeing that kind of content is an eye opener, I think, mm-hmm. for a lot of people. Mm-hmm. And even for us, you know, so many people are like, oh, I didn't think that I could be open with my family or talk to them about these things mm-hmm. or mm-hmm. rely on them in this way. And I'm always like, there's no harm in trying because mm-hmm. I feel like with family so many times, it's like sometimes you hit heads and like what we were talking about before and you're mm-hmm. just like okay I can't yeah. be everything that I want to be no. with this person anymore but what? what on social media would you guys say like when did you start doing those kinds of like skits so when I noticed that our platform required it mm-hmm. I felt like we made the comedy we made the fun we made the the silly stuff but then I was like we have we have a platform to change yep. people's perspectives yeah. mm-hmm. people's comfortability yep. push that uncomfortable line of communication yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. So I was like, we need to transition into something that I'm proud of. I'm going to feel good. Yeah, there's a lot of times, there's so many pieces of content that I like took down because I was like, I just don't feel good about that. Like Mm -hmm. what that? And you grow, so you want your platform as well to like exactly. Not just like why you started it, but like changing that perspective. I can really pick up on it because the thing that took off for us it was two videos. Like for instance, within my family and friends, everyone knew about me being bisexual. It wasn't like all out there like on social media and people maybe I do business with and anything. So she did it. She Mm -hmm. was the one and she asked me if it was okay. And it was two videos. One, we were in a pool during the summer and we were doing some stupid TikTok dance. And she's like, do you mind if I put, at that time I was 55, do you mind if I put my 55 year old bisexual dad? And my first inkling in my head was like, I don't know if I want that to go all out there in that way. I was like, I have my life, I don't know. When she did it, the reaction of people was just like, oh my God, you know? Mm -hmm. And I felt like I didn't have that when I was growing up. Mm -hmm. And then she did another one. Then that kind of passed by. And I was like, oh, that's cute. Didn't even pay any attention. (laughs) This was like, not even, like, didn't even pay attention to it. It was cute. Mm -hmm. Oh, it went viral. Oh, hey, yeah. She came over and I was helping her do her hair. She had a weave and I was cutting and taking it out. I and she was that. Yeah. Yeah. And we were li- we were literally doing what we do. We sit and watch a movie. Yeah. Usually something I want her to watch that she wouldn't watch unless I had and her I'm like, captive. You're taking out my hair. For and she was <laughs> taking out uh, her hair. I was like, and she's like, do you mind if I shoot a real quick little video? And I'm like, I don't care. I'm I have my glasses on, everything. I'm doing her hair, and she brings it around. And I just smile, and she went back to it. And then next thing you know, she's like, I wake up the next day, and like we had a small TikTok, like my wife and I, and all of a sudden it was like all these followers, and she's like, comes out. She's like, Daddy, at that time she was staying with us because she was going through heartbreak. And um, oh, she comes out, she's like, heartbreak. Daddy, do you see what's going on? And and it just went crazy. And I think because you were living with us at that point. Yeah, you know? well, I think in general it was just amazing because of what you came from and how you weren't always as open, even when it came yeah. to your style and who you wanted to be. And yeah. Like all this support coming from the internet of yeah. people just boosted, being like, definitely boosted. They, they love to say about him, like, pr- pr- what did they say? Protect you at all costs. Yeah. Yeah. Like, <laughs> I get that a lot. I don't know what that is. Like, protect us, man. Yeah. yeah. But like, I think it was. Protection? <laughs> but I think it was, and that's when, you know, social media and the internet is beautiful because it gave you so much more confidence. Yeah. I literally watched as it happened. Yeah. And not that you need to be validated, but just because you didn't have that growing up, yeah. to have so many people say, like, you're beautiful the way you are, and, like, there's nothing wrong with yeah. who you are, and, and all that different stuff really right, made you know, an impact on you. I mean, for a long time, you know, I felt freakish. I'm going to be honest, yeah. you know, because I do like to dress a little different, and I do like to paint my nails, and I do like to wear eyeliner sometimes. And, I, you know, I, I, I guess it's the inner rocker. Yeah. And sometimes I write <laughs> wouldn't do it because I'm like, oh, you know, dads don't do that or, you know, men my age don't do that. Mm-hmm. And I think this whole journey for me has been more of a freeing thing. Of a, I look at something and I'm like, mm-hmm. yeah, I'm aware of that. <laughs> you know, and I just I feel, I feel more free. Do you feel like you know? the internet has made you guys feel sometimes more comfortable in your own skin or more supported? Or even I would say the opposite. There's also mm-hmm. yeah. a dark side to it as well. Um, actually, I have, I was just telling her a few months ago, I do feel more comfortable being in my own skin because everybody around me has always made me feel like I was different. Like yep. the way that I raised my daughter, the way yep. I allowed her to communicate and yep. convey her concerns with me. Yeah. They were like, ugh. Mm-hmm. It made me, I, we were at a Friendsgiving a couple years ago and they were like, you're asking her to like to do this and this and she's okay with them like uh is that wrong I think, yeah. is that wrong? I think some people get weirded out just by like very close relationships and family sometimes yeah, and like even when people say negative things towards it i think it's actually them looking into their own insecurities mm-hmm. or things that they don't allow themselves to do with their family or their friends you know yeah. so do you guys get mostly love on your page or more hate we get a lot of love on lot tiktok of love. instagram and youtube but mm-hmm. if we post on facebook, facebook yeah 
Yeah, yeah. It's it's it, I, it's an it, older crowd. Yeah. It has it's more of a conservative yeah. question. Yeah. <laughs> My, so on the other side of it, has it. it? Have there been times where you're like, okay, maybe we shouldn't be on social media? There's, like, like we we go through phases. Yeah, there's you know? been a lot of times where I was just like, I think my time is over. I, I don't think that I could take certain scrutiny. Me, talk about me all all you want. But right. mm-hmm. when Theory decided that she was going to make her sexuality public, mm-hmm. that's when I was like, I want to kick all your butts. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I don't care who you are. Okay? Yeah. Uh, and then my wife was also, also starting to get backlash right. on things. And I just was like, I think I need to pull away from social media. Mm-hmm. And then my wife was like, no, Danielle, you do not let them take your joy. You that's love making content. You <laughs> love making people feel safe. That is what you do. You are a healer. Yeah. Continue on your path. Mm-hmm. So I continued. But there has been a couple of times where I just was like, I think I'm done with social media. They're just so, sometimes it can be very, uh, a dark place. Oh, yeah. It can be yeah. hard. I feel very the same dark. when I started my I mean I've been in TV and all that stuff for a while so I'm I've gotten used to people saying things when they want to say things yeah but when I started incorporating my family and it was TikTok that I, I never really posted them on Instagram yeah. and then on TikTok I was like oh I'm just gonna start doing like this as as fun over here and we would just do like family videos and I would like vlog stuff and I was like now I have to not be aware of what people are saying to me but about them and then I felt guilty yeah. at times because before you guys really started posting on your page yeah. and I would see mean comments and as much as it made you be like oh I I can grow my hair out and be myself mm-hmm. people would be like so your mom is dating a woman and like all this and you know just rude yeah. mean comments and yeah. i would get so angry and just see red and <laughs> you know because i don't care sometimes. about me like you're saying yeah. but when you're talking about my family mm-hmm. that's it's when i'm like off. you know and i even said to them you know if you want me to not post you guys as much and this and that and they're like no, no. once again what your you wife said stand up, stand up stand and be up. you and, yeah. and that's the whole yeah. purpose of all of this yeah. is for all of us to have our voices and yeah. like communicate what we believe in because there's there's nothing wrong with it yeah. and who we yeah. are and mm-hmm. who we love there's yeah. nothing wrong with but that but it can there's I mean like you yeah. know my son Riley was talking about it can be a backlash like what's going on with Billie Eilish right now she mm-hmm. just came out saying she's part of the community mm-hmm. and she lost what like a million followers 100,000 followers you know so it just tells you how people can and you know I'm hoping and I'm sure she's going to be the kind of person that stands up but you know you can't let that type of stuff like push you off and yeah. I think with that deal with me I'm okay when they talk about me it's when yeah, they talk same. about my family yeah. but what it did for me when people say things like that it just emboldens me I think it's part of it it's not just the love that I get that makes me be more bold is also when someone says men grow like someone wrote under my thing grown men don't paint their nails and like I did an answer to it <laughs> basically with my nails painted and I was like because <laughs> I'm a grown ass man I do what I want yeah. you know yeah. so I think that I've always she always tells a story about when she was a kid some girl in middle school challenged her to a fight and she came home and told me about it and she's like what should I do I was like well you gotta show up <laughs> you gotta show up literally I was like, he's because, like if you don't show up you're she's gonna think you're scared and then and it's, gonna, gonna, get gonna, it's gonna get even worse but I had never been in a fight in my she's life like, I was like this big at yeah, that time yeah. I always see she didn't know I was right there I was like Peek it, you know, but she didn't show up. You know, but she she wouldn't have showed (laughs) up. She would have followed her around school. I always feel, and I think this my parents gave me this, the smaller you try to make yourself for a bully or someone's trying to bully you, the bigger they get. Mm -hmm. They don't get, when you're doing this, they don't get like, okay, well, let me back. No, you get smaller and then they're like, oh, then I can yell down the hallway in front mm-hmm. of everybody and say something because you're not going to fight back. Yeah. Yeah. You know, and my parents yeah. always taught me, like, even if you're going to lose, yeah. give them a good fight. Because mm-hmm. they'll be think twice about coming back. We're not <laughs> encouraging <laughs> violence. No, we're not. <laughs> this is what I've always said. Was, you might whoop my butt, but, right, but we'll, you'll know that you are in a fight. Go down and fight. You will know that you're in a fight. <laughs> you <laughs> you <laughs> recently fight saw, I think, your, your guys' TikTok where you're like, you're like, don't do it or whatever. And she's getting up, you're like, it was something about fighting someone, and you're like getting up from oh, the table. Oh, I saw that. Yeah, 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 yeah. So like, oh, that was just like another reenactment yeah. because every time I tell Theory not to look, she is looking. It's me, Theory. They say, she don't look. I'm like, what? what? <laughs> I'm Didn't I just say don't look? She is. Just I do it all the time. Awful. So I was just like playing with her, and I was like, remember that girl? Because there has been people that wanted to, to like harm me because yeah. I'm such a bad mom. Um, <laughs> I just was playing with her and she was like, (laughs) no, I think it's great. But that's family. Like we have each other's backs and don't talk shiz about the other. And you can't, I agree. I mean, like I hope Billie Eilish does it, but I agree with stay out there. I don't know if you have to stay out there, girl. Don't let them push you back in the the corner. (laughs) We have your back. We got your back. (laughs) We got your back. I'm so jaded. I was not thinking that you were talking about that situation. Like, oh. her coming out, I, what did I you knew. Think? I just was like, what else happened to Billy? Oh. Like, oh, oh, what oh, else oh, could oh, it oh, happen? I knew. I knew. I, I, like, knew. I just like, knew. come on. 
<laughs> She's yeah. like, come on now. But so you said when your daughter came out, the area that you kind of got a little bit more stressed around. So you did you recently kind of? Or you just Last, for the first time was open about it on social media? Um, I recently came out on social media. Yeah. So but she, I came out to her years ago. Yeah, years, years, years <laughs> ago. <laughs> like, it's okay. Now, are people like saying, oh, you guys are just doing this for, for the clicks or whatever you call yeah. it. Because sometimes, you know, people say that to Kira and I, especially because me being in such a long relationship with mm-hmm. a woman, they're like, oh, you're just, yeah. you're just playing the part. Mm-hmm. You we know? never get that we're playing anything, I but um, I think more of that you're not bisexual. Yeah, <laughs> that's what yeah, so Because you're with a woman. Yeah. 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 Has that been like the response for you? Has it just been welcoming or yeah, it's been a little it hard? For clout. It's either we're doing it for clout that, you know, you made me. Yeah, I either. chose to be yeah. gay because of you. Like, okay, whatever. That's really it, though. But for the most part, there the there's a lot of people are very positive. Oh my yeah. God, she's for the girls. We love it. Like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. We got her. Another we one. That's what they say. They're, they're so like, whoop, whoop, whoop. My God. They're so hyped. They're like, like, we want this girl. I'm like, yeah. yeah. But Mama always knew. And, and I was both. okay with that. Yeah. I love that. No, yeah. I feel like that's our family, too. Just yeah. very accepting about everything and anything. Yeah. Like, people always ask me, too, like, how did you... Another question, having a son. Mm. You're straight. They're like, well, if you made her this way, my son was raised by me. Mm. All very open. So how come he's straight as an arrow like my wife and I, he was raised by the same Baby, dad? I, I mean, he's like, right. And I, <laughs> I make sure I say this, but I tease him all the time. I'm like, I'm wasted on you. Yeah. <laughs> I said, I'm wasted on you. He's like, it's like that. <laughs> Wait, so you, do you guys go on like double dates ever? Because you have a girlfriend oh. and you have a wife. Mm-hmm. Or no? You get, no. <laughs> She's like, no, no. But absolutely not. But you all get along, which is great. She does. Her and my girlfriend, yes. So, yes, I... So, but you're, like, have a great relationship with your wife, and Mm -hmm. then you have a great relationship with your girlfriend. That's amazing. Yeah, so, yeah, so... I we're about to go to Haley's game um, Thursday. Thursday. And I hear her like you play football. No, I was a cheerleader. Oh, oh. <laughs> she said I was like her football. Yeah. I mean, you would you would talk about the the people in the team. And but I was like that's savage. Cheer. She played yes. football. Oh, girl. But I cheerleading is fire too. That's sport. hard. Yeah, every every sport. So you have a game out here. Back in oh, back in you go. Okay. Yeah, but we are. I'm close with Haley. Um, like our little circle is close. Like we go out to coffee and we talk and we help her with schoolwork and she helps with marketing and things like that. So like, yeah, she's yeah. pretty. She's cool. Yeah, she's cool. She's. Yeah. You she's might have to come see you cheer. My wife was a cheerleader. I know. She was captain of the cheerleader squad. Oh, you yeah. are? Yeah. Yeah. I, was, yeah. Yeah. No, I was Which, the captain. Oh. She was captain and she was the flyer. Okay. Oh, just so you did the. Yeah. Wow. Hitting my head on the floor. Oh. And she was like. <laughs> we lost points to our competition because of how sassy I oh, was. Oh, you did that type of shit. Yeah, like, I, I like, can tell you're you sassy did, yeah. now. Like, you and your mom said something. You're like, anyway. No, my wife did. Oh, yeah. She did, like, like, the 80s. Like, my wife did the 80s thing. She wasn't doing all the flips. It's a very odd <laughs> question, but what are your signs? Uh, yeah, I already know you guys. Um, uh, I'm... <laughs> I am a Gemini. Oh, <laughs> when when June fourteenth. I'm June fourth. I'm June fourth. I'm June fourth. I am june 4th i am june 4th i am a real Gemini I too. Like May Gemini's. I'm not sure. Don't tell me you're a Pisces. See, oh. I'm, an, I'm an Aries. Oh, okay. Oh, I was like that would have been wild. <laughs> yeah, you're, you're a cusp, right? I'm full Pisces. Oh, oh what's your okay. when's your birthday birthday? March sixth. Okay. Oh, April third. Yeah. March sixth. Okay. We're, 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 we're close. We're yeah, close. she's a three, but very different. Aries is six. Yeah, she's a three. I'm like emotional. You're like six. Is that new grandbaby going to be? Is that the son? Where's the baby? A new grandbaby is coming in the family. Is it going to be? Because I think it's April, right? I don't know if it's April. Or... What's your sign? Aries. 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 No, it's not going to be an Aries. It's a Taurus. Okay. okay. Uh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> oh yeah, we got a little. And I'll be an aunt for the first time coming. Congratulations! Out. And she is beautiful. Oh, you you oh, have beautiful yes. children. Oh, very. Like, you guys are beautiful yeah. as well. Yeah. 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 The jeans are very. The like, jeans copy are jeaning. <laughs> the jeans are jeaning. <laughs> no, we genuinely look like we could be family. No, we are yeah. family. We, we are. Really. I know. We, we, we're going back for Christmas to Maryland, and that's where they live, where my yeah. dad grew up. So they're out here just not right now you for a couple meetings. Dinner or something. Oh my gosh, Because we only live how far from each other, like, 40 in Maryland. Minutes? 40 minutes? Oh, that's okay. not bad. Yeah. Yeah. Not White bad. Marsh, right? Yeah, well, then White Marsh. Right near, they oh, live yeah. in White Marsh right near, like, the mall is, like, what, 10 minutes mm-hmm. from their house? Because that's where they always, well, when you were growing up, I don't know about now, but they used to always run over to the mall to get lost, so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. we're going to have to, like, thing. definitely do a thing. We love over there. Look at my little notes. <laughs> there's, there's actually a vegan um, burger joint in the mall now. Well, yeah. see that. I'm just trying I got, to sell you, know, you on it. You know, I just, I got to watch my salt intake. You know, I had, the reason I went vegan is because, you know, black men, high blood pressure, high cholesterol. Well, I was doing really good, especially before the pandemic, but I just realized it just, even being vegan, it just creeped back up. So I got to really watch 
watch what people are putting in my food. So right now I'm trying to do this thing of only eating like things that I know like my wife will make or I will make, you know, gotcha, and gotcha, I'm, gotcha. I'm going to miss her food because she makes vegan food, but she does make kind of salty, you know, Ooh. so I just got to... Yeah, you got to gotta watch the blood gotta pressure. Got to watch the blood pressure, but, um, you know. A lot of people loved in the last podcast when you were kind of talking about advice to give to parents that had a kid, you know, just mm. come out and yeah. how to go mm. over that well mm. and just, just advice. Would, would you have any advice for, you know, say a parent, their kid just came out or... They might think that their their kid is part of the community. So I would definitely say if your kid does come to you and you are not, well, we'll start with the negative, not even a negative, but indifferent. So if your kid comes to you and you do not approve of the community, do not respond right then, right there, because you're it's going to be angry, angry, mm-hmm. angry. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be angry. You're going to be angry, and you're going to say something hurtful. And yeah. as a parent, you don't want to really hurt your children. So yeah. take that time for yourself to process, do a little bit of research, reevaluate what you want to say, how you want to articulate your thoughts, so you could try to understand who your kid is, mm-hmm. and just know that your kid is not who you think your kid is supposed to be in your head. Mm-hmm. Like your kid is supposed to be their own person. Mm-hmm. So just take time. Yeah. for yourself before you respond and if you're like us if your kid comes and says that you they love the same sex or yeah. multi-sex just say hey bitch yeah yes. <laughs> yes. yes. i love you so when, when so okay. noisy tonight like when um kira came out to me she was still even knowing my past it still was hard for her mm-hmm. and mm-hmm. she still kind of cried to me like telling me and all i could think in my head is she knew with her family how accepting we were going to be and it was still hard for her. Was it for you, like, to actually say the words? She's like, no. <laughs> Honestly, not really. Even though, like you said, like, accepting, they're very, like, you have accepting parents. Mm-hmm. I was just like, mom, like, I don't want to disappoint you because I know you. Oh, every parent has a vision of who their right, kid is right. going, like, they want their right. kid to be. I didn't want to disappoint you. <laughs> even though <laughs> I didn't have no idea who you were going for. <laughs> <laughs> but so many parents put that on their kids. And yeah. Someone even yeah. said it to me the other day. They're like, sometimes parents have kids also to fulfill their dreams. Yeah. Yes, they do. To yep. make they themselves, do. like, it's a fulfillment for themselves. Yeah. And mm-hmm. it's it's really not about it's, you. you. That's you not know? fair. That is not well, I think fair. one of the biggest lessons you learn as a parent, and I said this last time, is that you have to start to love your child for who they're going to be and not who you imagine they were going mm-hmm. to be. And I think that's a hard lesson to learn as they start getting into their 20s and growing up and forming their own lives. Mm-hmm. And I always say to them, take what you enjoyed and leave the rest behind. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So I think you Agreed. just have to really kind of like fall in love with who they're becoming and just put that out of your mind of who you thought they were going to yeah, be. Right. You know? But was it, was it so it wasn't so it was difficult? Sports, yeah. It wasn't really difficult. I just like, I had <clears throat> more of a fear of like, disappointing yeah. like I didn't want you not disappointing because I know you're not going to be disappointed <laughs> like, but like no I fully get it <laughs> but like yeah. I just like didn't want to ruin that for you so I was like okay I had this feeling within myself it, I was uncomfortable with it for a very long time I didn't know I didn't understand the side of myself but you're very accepting I trust you with everything in my heart you're the only person that truly understands and won't judge me girl the tea is like yeah, <laughs> I like both sides. Yeah. So, but also, you were so young when you did start like telling telling me that you like oh, look at yeah, girls. Like, crush this girl. yeah. yeah. So I think, <laughs> I think I think being character. so young when you did come to me and talk about it, I yeah, think I was that just was just like, like careless in a way. I was just like, oh, mom, like listen. Yeah, because I wasn't That's even. I wasn't fully out. Too, probably just to be like Very it is vocal. It, yeah, yeah. Just be yourself. I don't want her to feel like she has to be small to make yeah. other people feel comfortable. Mm-hmm. And I've always instilled that in her. So yeah. like, I just want you to be your fullest, happiest self. Because that's the only way I'm going to be happy. Because yeah. if that. my baby's not happy, I'm not happy either. <laughs> <laughs> the king of half of them. This man nearly had a heart children, attack one time. They were arguing, and I literally passed out. Yeah. I was because like, it was okay. like one of, this yeah. was a while ago. It was one of those, they were just like, they were not, they were like late teens, and it was just, it had gotten so bad between the two of them. And I was having a discussion with her about it, and all of a sudden it was just like, oh, the room just went away. We were actually <laughs> like, sitting in a I'm restaurant, like, and he was sitting next happened? to me, and just, yeah, we were sitting in a restaurant, yeah. and he was sitting next to me, and he just like fell over into my lap, and I was like, like I literally, literally, I, I would say yeah. in my life I have no price other than once I had children. They're just, they're my heart and my soul. They are everything. And if they're not okay, I'm not okay. See? And my wife <laughs> says it all the time, like, you can't take it like that. And I'm like, how am I supposed to, it's like telling me to take my lung out yeah. and put it over there. Yeah. Like, you know, and I just, I, I you know, you want the best for them and you, you hope and everything, but you know, this world. 
takes the oxygen them and yep. the relationships and blah 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 and it's just like it's you know they, all I can say is they'll understand one yeah <laughs> they will they will they will just had a conversation yesterday yeah like, that, when you have kids when you, you have know, kids you they love saying they yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I think you will fully understand exactly where I'm coming from when I say I love you girl I, I, yeah. I love like, you yeah. without measure without measure I will yeah. tear this whole world up and how are your parents with everything are Hmm? Nope. <laughs> <laughs> and that we also don't, we don't have to talk about but, 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 it. Really so like that, that one of the things, one of the things I loved about I was saying about your page, I came across the one where you guys kept doing. I'm gonna keep my eye on you, and mm -hmm. I loved how because that's what I'm getting with my kids now with the relationship where you would do one where she was going through something mm -hmm. sad, and you would come in and do something, and then she would do something where you were sad, yeah. mm -hmm. and she'd come in like I'm keeping my eye on you, but yeah. whatever that song was, and I was like, that's the new relationship I'm learning with my kids. It's like I'm still the Dad. I still got to be a you know the strong one, but I can turn to them now. And if they yes, see I'm know. going through something, they can they're like, I got you. Yeah, mm -hmm. I got you. And that's like something I think when you are close with your children, you do get that because I think if you keep that thing of like I'm the parent, like oh yeah, into your into their thirties, and they, then they start to withdraw. Oh yeah, you're gonna lose that. You know, yeah. versus you know like someone saying like I understand who you are and you understand who I am and I am your dad, but I am a person. Yeah, mm -hmm. I'm human. You know, and I, 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 so with that, that really touched me. That was like one of the first things I came across you guys' page. Yeah, like, so oh. she really does. So she notices because I am so chipper. I am probably the ugliest, happiest person in the world. <laughs> I mean, it's an yeah. it's annoying. I annoy myself sometimes. You're right. Gemini's. You're That's what that is. I'm like yeah, me too. I'm like I whenever, really like, why whenever she, he gets any comments now and like when he's being extra and people are like oh this and that he's goes well I'm a Gemini, Gemini so I, mean, you know, I came when she came home from Love Island she hadn't seen me but well, she had was sequestered for a while and I came over and I guess I came in I was being loud I had music playing I'm popped up yeah. and she's like I don't know if you're always like this, but <laughs> <laughs> she's like, I'm like, I'm just being she's like, but I, I guess I'm just, I haven't been around you for a minute, you know, that, it's just who I've always been that reset. way. My mom Literally. like, sit down somewhere. And that's Literally. just, Gemini say? energy. So I am just very chipper. So when she sees me not like yeah. coming in her, I go in her room every morning, like, hey girl, like, are you up? Like, can we sit and talk about my dream and my night and how I sweat through the night? Like, I just randomly talk about everything. <laughs> so when I don't, she's always like, hey, yeah. just, just You're checking on you, yeah. you yeah, good? So like bad. you have so not bad. gotten on my nerves, yeah. and it's seven o'clock in the morning. Like, what's, what's going on? I love when she took the bottle out of your hand. Oh yeah, so, yeah. <laughs> Wait, what? She, she, uh, yeah. Were you on their page like this? <laughs> But she does this a lot. She does this yeah. a lot. Oh. So she does it in joking ways, but then sometimes, well, I will have like a whole bottle of wine, and she's oh. like, "Girl, like Gemini. seriously, <laughs> you have too it's, much." Strength. Sometimes it's not even like for like her depression. I'm just like, "Mom, like when you drink, you get foggy brain. Like you yeah. don't, you're not we, as creative yeah. as much. Like yeah. you need to like lay it's it off because when you're not drinking as much, you're like." I got idea, 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 mm, idea, yeah. idea. I want to do this, this. But we got to calm thing. that down. That energy sometimes needs to be. But like, no, so I just had the same <laughs> conversation with you because yeah. especially around the holidays, he'll be like, "Oh, two o'clock. Yeah. Let me just." <laughs> me, <laughs> like, Sir. me. I just had a glass of wine before. <laughs> I'm gonna have a glass of wine over The only reason I didn't have one before because she's like, fine. she was like, "You'll get foggy if you." So I'm like, as soon as we, as soon as we wrap. It's so funny. <laughs> <laughs> when like the roles when you start getting older, mm -hmm. you Actually, know, it's your mother, bring you, my bottle. You know what? That. Chill. <laughs> <laughs> but like how the roles kind of as you get older as kids, like not that you're, you we ever turn into the parents, but just like sometimes I don't want to say it, I don't want to offend y'all, but you know, it's right. no, it's okay. No, I'll be like, mom and her. Yeah. I'll be like, mom, enough. <laughs> yeah. Mom, chill out. Mom, that was not nice. Girl, it's no, we do the same. Really? But no, when I was looking at your guys' page, like so many of the scenarios that you play out are around toxic relationships at times, mm -hmm. and you guys seem amazing. Like obviously, as a kid and parent, you go through your things. But are you drawing from anything, like in your life, or like you were very supportive of her? Have your parents and your family in general been supportive? So, I want to say that they are supportive, but it's not like they're in my life. I created my own family. Mm -hmm. I moved out when I was sixteen, and I created my safe space. My my mom is supportive of what I do, but she, love you mom, um, she thinks that a lot of my work is targeted towards her, mm. which it's not, it's just as a whole. And if you, it's not targeted towards her, yeah. but there are some scenarios where it happened to me. Yeah. And I know it's happening to other people, so I feel like it needs to be shed light on Yeah, 100 you know, We talked about, but she is very supportive. My father, uh, he's a great man. Mm -hmm. Um, don't really have like a close, close relationship with mm -hmm. 
And um, yeah, but that's really it. I don't really have a lot of family that, relatives. Yeah. I don't have a lot of relatives. But you got I love new family you, now. I do. <laughs> <laughs> but I love what you said too about like your chosen family because yeah. I used to say something that I don't agree with anymore and even we talked about how you take certain things down when it doesn't align with you. Yeah. And I used to say when dating people, I it was a red flag if they weren't close with their family. Yeah. And that was kind of ignorant of me because not everyone is brought into a family that's supportive mm-hmm. and respectful and understanding your boundaries and all those different things and I just started saying as long as you know I want to date someone that has healthy relationships in their lives yes and it's beautiful that even though maybe you were brought into your family and a situation that wasn't exactly what you wanted fully mm-hmm. you were able to create your chosen family yes. mm-hmm. and yeah. that people can see that you can come from that have that experience and then create something you dreamed of yes. having, you know? In that family, I have had them in my life for 20-something years. Mm-hmm. Um, I have a newfound family as well that I met on social media, and now you guys, uh, hey. for like four <laughs> years. They are everything to me. Yeah. They are the, the glue to yeah. my mental state. Or my sanity, should mm-hmm. I say? Because there's a lot of times where I am in dark places, and she comes through, my wife comes through, and but it's always good to get somebody else's perspective of things, like because I don't have that with my relatives. So yeah. when I can go to my sisters or that's what I call them, yeah. my sisters, yeah. it's like, that's beautiful. it's like, hey, we got you, girl. It's yeah. okay. Like, it might be hard with you in theory right now. Yeah. It might be hard with you and your wife right now, yeah. but we got you. Yeah. yeah. I think that's one of the things, too, that you, that you just touched on that I love about this new social media journey. It really is. It's built, luckily, because not everyone had that because it could be some toxic thing out. Mm-hmm. But my wife and I have built an, an extended family. Like, when we go yeah. on live, there's people that we know yeah. and people that come back and mm-hmm. there's so you wake up and you get these beautiful, you put something, put content up and you wake up and you get these beautiful messages. Yeah. Like my wife and I the other day, you know, we were getting all excited about the holidays and we were out walking and what we thought about was like, there's so many people that don't have that right now. So really, we just got on there and just said, how are you doing? Yeah. You know, we know this could be a tough time and the messages we got under it was well, just so beautiful. Just and I was beautiful. just like, and the messages of how our family brightens their day I know. and they love seeing our smiles and they love that. seeing how we support each other. And I'm just like, oh my God. It's you know? all about connection. You know, whether yeah. it's online or mm-hmm. finding people, it's, I saw some study that it was like, no matter how much money you have or how successful you are, the healthiest people, the happiest people are the people that have healthy relationships in their lives. Mm-hmm. I kind of want to end it once again on like a note of advice from you guys in general of, because that wasn't my upbringing. I am grateful that I was brought into you parents and you as well, like that support us fully. What's your advice if someone is kind of feeling like in their life right now? their family and their friends aren't supportive and they're kind of scared or don't know how to reach out and and find a community or be open. Like, what would you kind of say to them? If somebody came to me and said that they don't have a community or a safe space, one, I would cry. Uh, Mm. (laughs) But I would tell them that it's okay to wander this earth alone for a little bit because when you do find the right people, and you will find the right people, Mm -hmm. you will know it. Mm-hmm. And sometimes a lot of people settle into these bad, toxic relationships mm-hmm. just so they can have somebody. Yeah. But being alone is not always a bad thing. Nope. Mm-hmm. It's a good thing. You get to figure out your yeses and your noes yeah. and what you're capable of doing alone. Mm-hmm. And I tell her all the time, date yourself. Yeah. Like, date yourself because then when the right people come around, you'll know it. Mm-hmm. And it's going to happen. And it's going to happen. It's going to happen. It's going to happen. Really, if you're, you know, you have to know yourself because before anybody else enters that, you're going to be happier if you know yourself. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know, um, my wife and I met so young, we grew up together. Yeah. So we had to kind of learn each other, you know. But I think it's something about when you are, you know yourself and then you meet someone knowing yourself. Yeah. You know, I think that can be beautiful too. It is. It's very you know? And beautiful. the only thing I would add to what you said about the family, mm-hmm. make your own family because that's amazing. And we did that when we first, because be, being a biracial couple, you know, mm-hmm. families were not. Yeah. In the beginning, they all now, it's all like hunky dory, yeah, but yeah. I don't know, it was the 80s, yeah. you know, it wasn't. But um, I would say create your own family because it's my wife and I did, but be patient with your family to come around. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Because if they really truly love you and get past themselves, they can come around in a beautiful way. Because I saw that with my family. Like, you know, it just wasn't very supportive, but they were scared because we were the oldest children and mm-hmm. biracial relationship. And they were just like, well, we're not going to accept this. Yeah. But we just kept going and found people who loved us for, as a couple. But then grandkids came along and, grandkids. you know, it's like, how are you going to say no to that? You know? Have you been asking her about grandkids? <laughs> <laughs> no, you're 20. You're still like, oh, she gave me a damn baby. 
I have my fur <laughs> baby, so. Oh, you got a little puppy? Yeah. We have yeah. our fur babies, too. Like, I can't even wake up when she's crying in the bathroom. I don't even know how. I can't deal with kids right now. Yeah. Yeah. She I'm has a mom like, ear. That. She I'm just, just like, turn yeah. it off. And I'm like. She said absolutely not. Well, no. I mean, yeah. it sounds like with both of your relationships. I'm the only single one here, I just realized, the too. single one. How no, are my you brother's single? single? What do you mean? <laughs> I think it's what you were saying. I'm taking the time right now to date myself. Good. I feel like. you should. Well, they both just came out of something. Because mm-hmm. she's like, how are you single? I mine like, was about a year and a half ago, was which is still, ago? yeah. Okay. Wow. I know, it feels like yesterday at times. I've been doing what you were saying. I'm kind of, you know, dating myself and just taking time. I feel like I went through so much of my life feeling like I couldn't fully be myself. Mm-hmm. So I didn't even know who I actually was for a while, you yeah. know? Oh, so I've been there. Yeah. And once again, strangely, and not strangely enough, social media is like what helped me as well. Just like finding more people on there like me. And yeah. I think what we all do and just showing up authentic and being ourselves mm-hmm. on these platforms, it's hard to do because yeah. at some sometimes at night I like wake up and I'm like, oh my God, I'm mm-hmm. sharing all these things. And I feel so vulnerable right now. And yeah. these people know it. They can judge me. All these different things but at the end of the day I always come back to but little Kira would want to see you uh, yeah you know little Danny I, you know? I say that all the time I just got chilled again. I know I'm <laughs> like <laughs> I'm like oh that's so like love it but, but it's, it's so important so even sometimes when I get scared I think it's still like me just being uncomfortable and knowing this is growth it's me being open and, and being mm-hmm. vulnerable and putting yourself out there to help others but also to help like your inner child is like such a special thing yeah. that we can do with these platforms so yeah. when I saw you guys and like I said my cousin is the biggest fan yeah. of them Hi. and I'm like <laughs> Oh my gosh, she does say hey Alex. Hey Alex. She wants to meet you guys. Hey so Alex. <laughs> She's gonna die. She's, She's like, gonna when you guys die. come to Maryland, are they gonna be around at all? We're like, I don't yeah, know. but the ones I and I'm fan a fan as well now too. Yep, but once I saw your guys' page, I was like, I need to talk to them. I wanna. Yeah. I wish we could talk for like hours. Well, can know? I ask one question? One more question. Okay. okay. All right. Because we were talking about what we mean with like, what was one of your best moments that someone said to you that their family wasn't there, but you were there for them? Like, mm-hmm. what was one of your best moments with that? We're at the pool. Oh my gosh, she was sobbing. I was sobbing. Okay, so if you guys don't know that I am in going 13 years clean of cocaine and pills. I don't know if you can say that. Drugs. No. <laughs> um, and this woman comes up to me while we're at the pool and she's like crying already. I'm like, oh my God, what's going on? Like, are you okay? And mm-hmm. she just was telling me that I was the reason why she started to get sober for her kids. I'm sorry. And she also started. <laughs> sorry. No, I know. No, and that was she- when... It was like a year into doing content. And that's when I was like, oh my God, mm-hmm. like this is why I'm doing what I'm doing. Because mm-hmm. I really did not want to put that story out there. Yeah. It was it was a struggle for me. Yeah. So when I finally did that and she came to me and she was like, I am now like three months sober. And I was like, bitch, you go girl. <laughs> like keep on doing that. It just makes me happy. Oh, that um, is so That funny. is somebody that I would always remember. Yeah. I'm sorry. You no, should, no. Do not apologize. I am such a cry. Mm. That's okay. That's okay. You're going to make me cry. But like, <laughs> that's how you probably change that woman's life. Yeah. It's just more than you probably even know. And that's why it's so important to, not important, but if you feel like you can be vulnerable in yourself yeah. online, you can help so many others to feel like mm-hmm. they're okay and can have that strength in themselves as well. Yeah. So mm-hmm. that's just her showing you yeah. probably yeah. how much more that you don't even know how much you changed her I life. Know, like, I know, I'm like. It's happy tears though, it's I a know. beautiful it thing. Is. Thank you. Theory. Sorry. Power. Um, maybe I believe the woman that you know messaged us and she was talking about how she didn't talk to her mom for seven years. Mm-hmm. And um, she watched us and you know she decided to try to rebuild that connection and relationship with her mother mm-hmm. definitely opened my eyes a lot like girl we yeah. got something really good and it made me feel so good that i had the power not the power but i had the, the ability influence. Mm-hmm. And influence to be able to help families mm-hmm. help them rebuild their connections with their family yeah. so that there's more of us mm-hmm. and not just so mm-hmm. that two percent of us of us yeah. there's gonna be more of it so yeah. that's a, a big part of why i'm like mom we have to keep going yeah we have to keep going. Yes. That for those that's chosen true, Kira. Yeah, Kira. Yeah. yeah i'm a cure cure <laughs> <laughs> Um, I wouldn't say there's one situation, but coming out on Love Island, and once again, I was out for a while, but just being open about it on TV, Mm -hmm. the amount of messages that I came back to of people, and I go back and forth with people in DMs all the time, you know? And yes, we may be strangers, but I think it it was just so amazing for people to feel like I was a safe place coming coming out, and Mm -hmm. that so many girls, guys, people in general just were coming out to me before 
their friends and family or if they just didn't feel like they had a safe place. And that just made me feel so happy that they trusted me with that information and, and felt like I was a safe place. Mm. Like it felt almost, at, for a second I was like, this is imposter syndrome because like I don't yeah. feel like, like I can like, handle yeah. this. Like who am I to give you advice on how to, you know, but I am a, a woman in the community and for other women to come to me and feel like they could relate or for the first time they were like seeing you be able to do that gave me, you know, the strength to come out to my friends and family. Mm. Like that was always something that made me very emotional that I could just be that for someone when people felt like they didn't have that around mm-hmm. them. Yeah. yeah, so it's not one thing, but yeah. yeah. I mean, yeah. I love that. I mine, love that mine, um, I think it's two things and it came through two of my children. One, you kind of putting me, you knew about me and my friends and family knew about me, but putting me out there and then having so many people say that seeing me gave them the courage to come out. Yeah. And my, but one of the biggest moments I have to say was my son. Um, he I don't even think he knows this. A kid who texted me about coming out. And he said, I gave him the courage to do it, you know. But then he also said that my son has this group called Rosebud. Mm-hmm. And the, Rose they, gang. Rose Gang, oh. sorry, Rose Gang. <laughs> sorry. And he really, our, our he really treats them like family. Mm-hmm. And um, I had this kid out of the blue d- DM me saying how he was getting severely bullied. He's he's different. Like, he's just like me. Like, he's just different. And he was getting severely bullied. And um, yeah. the Rose Gang came on social media and got the bullies out and protected him. And he was just telling, he wrote a paragraph about how much thank you for raising a son a a person that I feel that was there for me and it was like it wasn't even it was like through me that he was saying thank you and it just I sat there and I cried I read that DM and I literally my wife was like what's going on I'm like read this you know so it wasn't only me giving him that courage but my son helped him with because bullying is hard Mm. It's horrible, and for the and so that that really that that really touched me. That was a moment for me. Yeah. It's beautiful. No, I oh, think wow. in general to once again have a voice on social media and to be authentic, to be yourself, and to bring visibility to things. And once again, if you're not brought into a situation that you love, to mm-hmm. see a mother and daughter online support each other, love each other, accept each other. It oh, it teaches people when you haven't seen that. Really like some people just have not seen that growing no, up. So to no. see it online, they can build that on their own mm-hmm. and, and know that, okay. that exists. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. We're yeah. all gonna be okay. Yeah. We're all gonna Definitely. be okay. Yeah. Through through good and bad times in general, I always just say it's so important to have healthy relationships in your life and just people that yeah. accept you and, and love you for you, yeah. you know? So I'm grateful to have you and yeah. it seems like you guys are just I'm very grateful. I'm so, <laughs> I'm so grateful. Grateful that social media brought us this us so together much. I'm like this is but this is social media like yeah. we would have never met each other no, no, no. Yeah. we wouldn't have shared our stories with yeah. each other because we would have just been passing but to like know that there's a synergy and to be able to that I love it I love social media you know I love it too I, I do too yeah. I love social media <laughs> like it's more positive than anything it really is yeah, yeah it goes through the phases but okay guys I wish that we could talk forever we're gonna keep talking yeah. you guys and we're gonna, gonna see them in Maryland <laughs> <laughs> and we're gonna see them in Maryland too yes. um, but thank you Danny and Thierry Thank so you. much for Thank coming you. over. Thank We're you. literally in my bedroom right now. That's yeah. where I film this podcast. I don't think I ever. Like, Thank so cool. you. But it's so I'm so happy that I was able to have you guys in my. No. This is my safe place, you know. Thank so you, you guys us. brought such great energy, and I'm so happy that you were able to be so open and, and share you. your stories. And I'm grateful for you guys coming. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And how, how do we, we end this podcast? podcast? Thank, Thank you for having coffee with Kira. Thank you guys.